Hello and welcome to the White Dog Music YouTube channel. I am, of course, the White Dog. Today, we're going to have a little look at the latest product to find itself here at White Dog Towers. We're going to have a look at a guitarist bag. In fact, it's not a guitarist bag, it's a musician's bag. This could be used by guitarists or bass players or, or techies or any of that kind of stuff. In fact, you know, you don't actually have to use it. If you're a musician, you know, this would be perfectly good for singers to hold their mics, for example. So let's get on with it. This is the Musician's Bag by Blue Budgie. Okay, so here it is. Can you check that out? Can you see it? Pretty big, good size. This has literally just come out of the box. Uh, I should say that I bought this. This is not, uh, there's no product placement here or any of that kind of stuff. I've actually genuinely bought this from from Blue Budgie. See the Blue Budgie there and the really nice blue colour. Here at White Dog Towers, we like anything with, a, with an animal in the name. You know that. So as a first look inside, we can, uh, we can see we get a letter, which is pretty cool. Always nice to receive letters. I'll take a look at that in a second. And then we've got... Uh, yeah, plenty of space in there. Everything looks really, really nicely put together. And we've got some dividers and that kind of stuff. So let's have a closer look. So Steve, who I presume is the manager, owner of Blue Budgie, he, uh, he sends you a very cool little letter through, just explaining his background as a, as a musician and all of that kind of stuff. Um, so as a guitarist or a musician, he has specifically designed this bag to help with everything from microphones to uh, cables to you name it, anything that a musician might need to do a gig. Could be more technical stuff, it could be a, a techies bag or something like that as well. So uh, he lists here what he's put in his bag. Of course, it's completely up to you what you put in yours, right? Although it does also say that, uh, that the bag would be well used as a gym bag. Nah, I've got to be honest with you, Steve, I'd never fit my leotards or sweatbands in, in this bad boy, do you know what I mean? I've just got too many of them. Back to the bag itself. On first inspection, it looks really nicely put together. It's a cool blue, I like that, as I've already said. Let's lose those for a second. We don't need the, uh, the partitions there. So we've got lots of space inside. As Steve's quite right. You could fit lots of microphones, you could fit lots of cables, all of that kind of stuff in here. So on top of the main kind of area, we've also got side pockets again everything looks everything looks nice and sturdy it doesn't look like it's going to come off or come apart at any point soon this is a brand new bag i cannot verify its longevity but first impressions are another pouch at the end there first impressions it uh, it looks really really good good job blue budgie i like it so i don't play live much these days so this is going to be used really for for more of my teaching side of things, I'm going to be using it for, for loading my cables up and making my life really, really easy at the end of the day when I've got to pack everything away. But I think Steve's quite right. It's a, it's a good looking bag. Uh, it certainly feels good, sturdy, strong. About 65 UK pounds, 65 quid as we would say here. So not cheap. But I have had a look around at some other bags that are kind of doing the same thing. And it is a bit cheaper than, than some of the more expensive bags. So it's probably, in terms of a price point, it's probably about right. And if it saves me time and hassle and all that kind of stuff, then I'm more than happy to kind of pay for that, really. Um, I suppose the one thing I might say, personally, just from my point of view, is as someone who's going to use it not for techie in or, or sound man work or live work or any of those kind of things I'm done with all of that caper uh, it might be nice to have some kind of specific pouches in maybe one of the ends something that might hold tools pens all of that kind of stuff but that's a really 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 minor minor thing I think overall it's a good bag Steve blue budgie uh, it looks good 
I hope it performs as well as you uh, as you say it's going to. And it's always nice to find products that are genuinely made by other musicians for other musicians. So, yeah, definitely, I like it. Excellent work. All right, that was the musician, techie, DJ, singer, you name it. That was the multi-use bag from Blue Budgie. I don't know if they have other products. Steve, if you're out there, feel free to get in contact. I will happily take a look at other things. All I can say from the White Dog here at White Dog Towers is thank you very much for joining in with us today, taking out this video. Great work to Blue Budgie. Feel free to like and subscribe or like the vast majority of people on YouTube. Feel free not to bother. I mean, there's various bits and pieces and gubbins down there. If you fancy pressing buttons and notifications and all of that kind of stuff, then that would be amazing. But if you don't, you don't, right? And that's kind of just the way things are here on YouTube. So thank you again. Come back and see us again real soon, whether you press buttons and subscribe or not. It'd be great to see you. Leave any comments, thoughts, general musings in the, in the section below if you fancy it. I do like to answer questions. I do like to get back to people and I do like to, uh, to show that I am actually here, you know. Really, I honestly I am. I'm here. So uh, take care. See you soon. And I'll be doing lots more of this kind of content as we, as we go through time and space. Bye.